On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout Law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. The Scouting teaches values that will last them a lifetime and uh, they use these skills throughout their lifetime to uh, achieve their full potential. When my father first started a Scout Troop, there was a boy that, that came in and when he first showed up at the first meeting, I still remember, he came in with his head down, his eyes looking at the floor, and he whispered. We said, what's your name? He just whispered. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't understand him, you couldn't hear him, and you could tell that he lacked some confidence. He lacked a lot of confidence, but as he grew through scouting, he has transformed into one of the top leaders in our Boy Scout troop. Not only that, he went on to complete national youth leadership training. He went on to be a patrol leader in the, in the unit, so he taught other boys skills. He's still in scouting. He hasn't reached Eagle yet, but he's well on his way. Leadership, responsibility, patriotism, citizenship, and service. These values describe the ways of scouting and more importantly, what it takes in forging the leaders of tomorrow. These values that we teach in scouting uh, give them a better opportunity in life. It makes them uh, more aware of their responsibilities and teaches them to be leaders. A lot of people don't realize how big a part leadership is in everyday life. And venturing is good because it helps those leaders go out in the community and show their skills and help other people improve it. The Buckskin Council of the Boy Scouts of America continues to grow with the recent addition of 10 tri-state counties, adding 2,000 youth and 1,000 leaders. The council now serves over 7,000 youth ages 6 to 21. They participate in 305 scouting units comprised of Cub Scout packs, Boy Scout troops, venture crews, and explorer posts. Each unit offers progressive, adventurous scouting programs to help scouts grow in confidence, courage, and integrity. Venturing will help people be leaders because it teaches all the important leadership skills of responsibility, honesty, trustworthiness. If I was looking at an application and I saw someone that was involved in scouting or that was an Eagle Scout, I would know what scouting has taught them. I know that it teaches them to have integrity. I would know that it teaches them to be responsible. It teaches them to be trustworthy. All those things in the scout law, you know, courteous and kind and obedient, that's what you want in an employee. That's what you want in a person. So when you see that on someone's resume or their, their CV, then you know what that person stands for. The Buckskin Council spans a 32-county region in West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky, and Ohio. After a four-year stretch of steady growth, it ranks 12th in the nation among Scout Councils for youth membership increases. The Council offers a platform for children and young men and women to train in character development, participating citizenship, and personal fitness to last throughout their lifetime. Scouting does create a more whole person. With all the activities that they participate in the outdoors, they, they remember that when they grow up as adults. A lot of these adults become volunteers to get other kids involved in the scouting program. West Virginia's youth have a particularly daunting climb to personal and professional success. Three in 10 children live below the poverty line. A study by the West Virginia Center also found that these children are five times more likely to be arrested and three times as likely to have severe health issues. Fortunately, organizations like the Buckskin Council of the Boy Scouts of America are influencing and shaping our young people with positive core values so that they have a better chance for success. Scouting is able to teach you not only to be healthy, to work with other people, to be that team leader, um, but it also teaches you how to be reverent. It teaches you how to treat others, just like the Scout Oath says, to help other people at all times. It teaches kids to give back to the community, uh, to be good citizens, and to be leaders. To give every child the opportunity to participate and learn the values of scouting, the Council must extend its reach. To make this possible, the Buckskin Council must update and expand the service center. The Buckskin Council's 1979 structure is too small and outdated to handle current levels of demand, 
never mind anticipated growth. The expansion to the outdated center will include training classrooms, program activity rooms, administrative offices, catering and kitchen facilities, an expanded scout shop, work rooms and storage, a shipping and receiving area, as well as overnight camping facilities for scout troops traveling to the summit. Over 1.2 million people are expected to visit the summit, West Virginia, and the Buckskin Council in the first 10 years of operation. The bold, modern facility will prove to them that this is scout country. This center will serve as the gateway to the Summit Bechtel Family National Scout Reserve. The Boy Scouts of America decided to build this exciting new high adventure camp in Fayette County, the heart of the Buckskin Council. It will be a beacon for youth across the country and the world as they venture to West Virginia to gain their mountaintop scouting experience. The summit will play host to a number of scouting venues, drawing tens of thousands of scouts each year. It is the new permanent home of the National Scout Jamboree, bringing more than 40,000 visitors from all over the nation to zip line, kayak, hike, shoot, climb, you name it. And in just a few years, the summit will serve as the location for the World Jamboree. Many of those visitors will begin their adventure with a visit to the headquarters for the Buckskin Council. The summit's going to be a great opportunity for West Virginia, both economically and for tourism. There'll be people from across the world coming here. And the summit is an opportunity for them to see the beauty of West Virginia and everything we have to provide as a state. A lot of these kids that come from other states probably have never did this before. And what better way to do that in West Virginia to come here and have all the fun and enjoy what we have to offer. I'm ecstatic about the summit being in West Virginia because we have everything like whitewater rafting, zip lining, kayaking, canoeing, uh, rock climbing. The goal is to raise $7 million for capital improvements and the expansion of scouting programs. $3 million will be used to update the center. $2 million to fund scouting for at-risk youth throughout the newly expanded council and $2 million to develop and sustain the venturing program for young men and women ages 14 to 20. In West Virginia, this age group saw a 43% increase in violent juvenile crime. It's evident that the benefits of scouting not only impact the lives of the youth who participate, but also our communities, our state, and our nation. I was a scout master for three years. My wife was a cub master and uh, saw a lot of young lives changed. Uh, the pack and the troop that we had was with Salvation Army and it was all uh, single parent kids and broken homes. And I watched these kids grow up in my troop, I had three Eagle Scouts. And uh, today, these, these kids are in college, or already graduated from college, and in careers uh, that really had made an impact on my life. Wherever a scout may find himself, at home, at school, or in the beauty of nature, he is guided by the principles of the scout oath and law. I'm an honor, I'll do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to help other people at all times to obey the Scout Law, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. The fundraising campaign has its share of challenges, but they will be met with commitment, persistence, and the generosity of many. The campaign's success will help change the lives of our youth, who will go on to become leaders with honor, integrity, and moral strength. The money that people are giving now for scouting is, in a few years, going to be an investment in that community, and they're going to get a great return from that. Please join us in forging the leaders of tomorrow. The coolest thing is you get to see all your friends and play with them and stuff and just do just lots of crafts and have fun. I love Cub Scouts. It's one of my favorite things to do.